our groceries at Trader Joe's. We have some of our groceries down here. And we found this restaurant, a place called Dragonfly. huge fan of the decorum here. Everything is sectioned off so it feels a little private. On top of that it does have this really nice like relaxed vibe because everything is candlelit. The decorations are really inspired by the Japanese culture. You'll see a full-size wall artwork. You're also going to see cherry blossom trees or as a part of the decorum. Everything just works out really well in creating a nice Japanese dining experience. That's right, there's a gluten-free menu. Find it here. A lot of options. There is a awesome gluten-free menu. And what I ended up getting on that menu is bacon-wrapped mushrooms, which is gonna be great. I already taste it right now. And also a uh, black and blue, which is gonna have medium rare ribeye, spinach, sauteed red onion, blue cheese, jalapeno, honey, and wasabi mayo. I'm, I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna taste really good. The food came. Okay, so let me give you guys a walkthrough right here. That, that is gonna be your bacon mushrooms. One thing that you'll notice is that it's on a little bed, or actually it's next to a little bed of lettuce, and it looks really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can take a bite out of it. It's got a really great crispy outside. You can taste the mushrooms on the inside. It's really flavorful. It doesn't feel dry at all. The flavor of the meat just kind of soaked into the mushroom. That's going to be great. And if it feels a little salty, I can see why they included the little bed of lettuce because that'll help kind of dampen the saltiness of the bacon. I'm not sure if we're supposed to dip it into the soy sauce or not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try it without it and see if it needs it. It definitely doesn't need the soy sauce. The wasabi flavor, it's actually right below the sushi. If you take a look at that green sauce, the, that's the wasabi flavoring. So it's not overpowering. It tastes really great. The meat is so soft. It just, it's just kind of falling apart. And all of the other components do a really great job of just flavoring the meat in this sweet yet sour kind of way. nice and glazed and then you can see the meat on this side see that there it goes so one thing I'm also really excited about is the fact that the Big Boss is not just one of Monica's sushi rolls it's also gluten-free so I actually get to try her Big Boss there you go. I want to make sure that you guys can see that this is gonna be awesome. This I'm definitely gonna need soy sauce for, which is great because they have gluten-free soy sauce. They brought gluten-free soy sauce out for the entire table just to kind of make sure that there isn't a, a, a high chance of cross-contamination. Smoky Dragon is bomb. I mean, there's salmon on, in the inside and salmon on the top. So here, you'll see that this is going to be the, the bacon. 
but right here on the edge you'll be able to see pieces of the actual mushroom so here you'll be able to see that these fibers are packed in really tight which gives it a great kind of meat like texture when you're eating it but at the same time it absorbs so much of the meat flavor from the bacon inside of the mushroom because of that as well that i'm a huge fan Sorbet. Our server was really nice. She found out that it was our honeymoon and she gave us this ice cream for free. It looks amazing and I do love passion fruit so you know let's give it a taste. They did not skimp out on the flavor. That tastes like passion fruit. It feels concentrated. It tastes like a passion fruit juice. The only thing missing is like soda. How would it be better? Honestly, up to you. If you want to see a little bit more filling, I would definitely recommend getting rice on the side. I mean, you can have the two years of cabbage. So, uh, we're pretty lucky because not only did they give us the passion fruit, ice cream, they also gave us a cheers on them. They gave us two bottles of wine and they also went through the effort of doing the research to make sure that it was something that I could drink. I, I feel really appreciative of the fact that they went through the effort to do that in the first place. And now...